This lesson provides special guidance for installing backup systems where utility personnel must install an Enphase IQ meter collar. Utility companies may have long or unpredictable lead times for meter collar installations, which can result in customer system installation delays. This following guidance can help accelerate system activation for the homeowner, enable milestone payments for system installers, and potentially eliminate the need for a return commissioning visit. At the end of this session, you should be able to describe Enphase's recommended process to pre-scan and pre-configure a meter collar on the job site. Describe how to provision and commission the system without the meter collar installed. And describe how to remotely provision and enable the meter collar after it's been installed by the utility without needing to return to the site. The process for pre-installing the meter collar is to install and commission the entire system as a grid-tied system first. Next, scan and prepare the meter collar for the utility personnel to install it. And then after the meter collar is installed at the job site by the utility, remotely reprovision and test the system. This installation process has several benefits. First, this allows the homeowner to have a fully functional solar and battery system on the day of system installation and immediately start getting energy and cost savings from their PV and storage system. Second, installers could possibly receive partial payment for completing a grid-tied system milestone. And third, with the ability to remotely complete the backup system provisioning when the meter collar is installed, installers could potentially eliminate the need to return to the site to enable the backup system. Next, we'll outline the detailed steps for pre-installation of a meter collar. First, install the IQ Combiner 6, IQ PV, and IQ 10C batteries as a typical system following the installation guidelines from the previous certification lessons. Next, we'll need to install a set of external consumption CTs since the meter collar won't be installed yet. Batteries will need this to control battery charge and discharge. Use standard Enphase 200 amp CTs and install them on the main feeders of the home. Tag Line 1 and Line 2 CTs and install them on the feeders. CT arrows must face towards the home and away from the utility. The CTs are wired back to the Combiner 6C and wired into a 4-pin connector. The Line 1 CT white and blue wires land on pins 1 and 2, and the Line 2 CT white and blue wires land on pins 3 and 4. Next, in the Combiner 6C, unplug the Load Control Consumption CT wiring connector if it's installed, and replace it with the connector wired with the external consumption CTs. A quick note. If batteries aren't needed in the grid-tied system, external CTs won't be needed. Pre-scanning the meter collar even before installation. This will configure the meter collar into the system, but will not enable the meter collar function in the system until it's fully installed. In the Installer app, Step 2, Devices and Arrays, define the IQ Combiner Count, Microinverter Count, Battery Count as normal, and add one meter collar to the count, even if this will not be installed by the utility yet. Scan all of the device serial numbers, including the meter collar serial number QR code, even if the meter collar won't be installed on that day. Preparing the meter collar for utility installation. Run Enphase control cable to the meter collar and through the gland in the provided orange high visibility bag. Route the control cable through the meter collar junction box, wire it to the 4 pin connector and plug it into the meter collar. Install and seal the meter collar junction box. Place the meter collar into the bag and seal it with the collar inside. Hang the bag in a location easily identified by the utility personnel. Run the meter collar control cable to the combiner 6C. Wire the 5-pin control cable connector and plug it into the red combiner 6C meter collar port. 
The final step to this installation workflow is to fully commission the system. During commissioning, even though the meter collar isn't physically installed, with the control cable connected, the meter collar will be detected and it will be provisioned into the system. Also during commissioning, it's important to pay special attention to commissioning and enabling the external CTs before leaving the site. Here are the steps to do this. In the Enphase Installer app, proceed through each step in the commissioning process. In Step 5 of the commissioning process, when asked if the meter collar is installed in the meter socket, select No. Select Yes when asked if there are external consumption CTs connected. Next, proceed to the consumption CT validation step. Turn off all PV branch circuit breakers and tap the checkbox to verify breakers have been turned off. Indicate if there is any pre-existing solar. In this example, we'll say no. However, if there is pre-existing solar, we will need to add more CTs to account for the energy production of the pre-existing solar system. With PV turned off, check to verify the consumption readings look accurate. In our example system, the system is currently importing about 1700 watts from the utility. Next, turn on a known load and verify the consumption increases. In this example, an additional 1700 watt load was added and now we are importing almost 3500 watts from the grid. So the consumption readings increase as we expected. Next, switch on PV breakers to start solar production. When solar starts, it will reduce how much we import from the grid. Tap Next to validate the reduction in the import of energy from the grid and that the home's utility meter matches the import readings. Finally, tap Next to enable the consumption meter. Proceed to complete the remainder of the commissioning steps in the installer app until it's completed and you can see the summary report in step 6. What happens after the utility installs the meter collar? After the IQ meter collar is installed by the utility, the meter collar will detect the presence of the healthy grid and close the MID, connecting the home to the grid. Next, the meter collar will communicate with the gateway. When the gateway detects the meter collar, after several system and grid checks, the meter collar will be active. The external CT metering will be disabled and the meter collar metering will be enabled automatically. The system will go through the process of updating system software and enabling the microgrid and backup capabilities. The backup system must be validated and tested to verify it is operating properly. This can be done on-site by the installer or in the office on a computer logged into the system activation page within Enlighten. Here are the steps to run a remote system validation. A quick note, homeowners should be made aware in advance of the remote validation testing and installers may need to communicate with the homeowner during the test to verify things are happening. To accomplish remote validation in Enlighten, go to the activation page for the system. You must go to the new activation view to see this functionality. On the left menu bar, there will be options very similar to what is presented in the Enphase Installer app. Go to step 4, the validation area. If the system needs a software update, this must complete before the functional validation. When the functional validation step is available, tap the functional validation button, which will begin a series of functional validation pre-checks, which test if the system is ready to run a system validation. When the pre-checks show all green, tap the start validation button. This will connect Enlighten to the system gateway and start up a live status view. Confirm the backup panel has an active load running and batteries are charging. Inform the homeowner that you'll be taking the system off-grid. Tap the Go Off-Grid button. Verify in live status that the system is disconnected from the grid and verify that loads are still running. Finally, remotely reconnect the home to the grid by tapping the Go On Grid button. Check live status to confirm the system went back on grid as expected. After this is completed, 
Functional validation is complete.